Hi everyone, hi Priscilla K. So today I thought I would do kind of a collective fashion haul. I haven't filmed a fashion haul video in so long. I think the last one I posted was in March, and that one was really popular. It's had like over twenty thousand views, which is like crazy. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would do another one. This is all kind of clothes I've like acquired over the past kind of three months. Um, I haven't gone crazy and bought it all like in the past two weeks. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like all clothes that I've acquired quite recently and um, they're all kind of quite summery so I thought I'd show you it because my last haul was kind of more kind of springtime so this is more kind of summertime. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this vest top from H&M and I'm really kind of into kind of whole kind of key items at the moment. I'm really tempted to just kind of get rid of a lot of my wardrobe and kind of ebay it and just kind of have key items because I honestly think that's the way forward like the fact that you can wear staple items with anything and I just thought this would be like a, a staple item and it's just a really simple kind of white vest top from H&M it's a really nice shape it's kind of got quite a low low arm hole and it's got like a racer a racer back which I think is quite nice for summer and it's a really nice kind of soft jersey material and I just thought it's quite it's quite long so I don't really wear leggings but if you do wear leggings you could wear it with that I tend to just tuck all my tops in um, but I just thought it's a really kind of nice quality vest top that you can wear with so many different things I haven't got a vest top in this material so I thought it will just it will literally I can wear it with so many different items like shorts skirts, jeans, anything and it was only 5 99 so yeah it was really cheap and it looks just like the ones that you get from like Topshop but obviously a lot lot cheaper. Now moving on to kind of a more kind of summery key item, um, I don't know if you've heard of them but this website called Style Compare, I will link them down below, they do a kind of a monthly blogger challenge and they kind of give them a specific thing to style. So I had the month of April and I was asked to be part of the style challenge which I was really like honoured to be asked to be part of. And the um, like theme was florals. So I kind of styled a floral dress basically and surprisingly I won and I'm still a bit shocked about the fact that I won because I was up against like proper fashion bloggers. And like I'm a beauty blogger and I do like outfits, but my outfit posts, they are so like novice, it's unreal. Like most of the time there's like an ironing board in the background or you can see me clutching my remote. So yeah, so I was really shocked but also really pleased because um, it meant that I won a £100 voucher to spend on Style Compare. So I was like, yes, get in. So I decided to spend my voucher on two different things. And the first one was this play suit from Miss Selfridge. I do love a good play suit and I love kind of play suits that are like this, they're really kind of summery and as I'm turning 21 in like two weeks time, um, like I'm not really sure if I have that many things planned and when I go to America I just thought this was a really nice kind of play suit that I can wear over my 21st birthday kind of celebrations and then on holiday. So yeah this is a play suit and it's kind of really pretty, it's kind of multicoloured and it's got like florals on and it kind of goes down and it's kind of like it looks like a dress when it's on which I quite like, I quite like the whole look like a dress but it's actually shorts because I always get paranoid when I wear a dress it's going to like blow upwards or something. So yeah I really like it, it's really pretty, I think it only comes in petite um, which is a bit annoying if you're not petite but yeah I got um, it's a petite and the only thing that I have with it is the fact that it has an open back and it's really low so you're going to see a bra strap. So I'm a bit confused how I'm going to really get around that. Like, will I just have to brave the bra strap? Or will I wear a vest top underneath? I think that might look a bit messy. And I don't really want to go braless because it looks quite see-through. So I don't really want everyone to see my boobs. So I'm not sure yet. I might have to experiment. So yeah, if you have any suggestions about what to do, maybe I'll just wear a bra, like wear a brightly coloured one and be like, I'll stuff it. Um, so yeah, that's my only kind of gripe with it. The fact that it's got a massive hole in the back. A bit annoying, really. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I'll get over it. So yeah, I thought that was really pretty. And then what I also spent the other kind of half of my voucher on was this gorgeous white blazer from Topshop. I decided that I wanted to get a white blazer because I love my blazers and I thought white was quite summery. And yeah, this is it. I think it's called the Ponty Blazer from Topshop. Um, it's really hard to show you on the camera actually. But it's basically just a white blazer. It's 
quite um, heavy. It's more heavy than what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like really light, but it's, it's quite heavy. And it's kind of made out of like this almost kind of clovey material. So it's going to be an absolute bugger to get clean. So like whenever I'm wearing it, I'm like, don't come near me with anything that could stain it. I'm like, oh. Um, so yeah, it's kind of got some shoulder pad action, but I like the fact that is this a petite? No, it's not a petite. It's like cropped, so it's not too long because I find with a lot of blazers, especially because I'm petite, it makes me look like I'm dressing up for my dad's wardrobe. But this is like from the normal range and it makes me look like I'm dressing up for my own wardrobe, which is obviously a good thing. Right, another Topshop purchase. Um, I got this in the Topshop sale back in Easter, so like ages ago. So yes, yeah, so I picked this up and the thing I absolutely love about Topshop, yes, their prices are really overpriced, but I love the fact that even in the sale stuff, you still get 10% student discount on top of the sale stuff. It's brilliant. So I picked up this cute little blouse. It's kind of got a little bit of a kind of v-neck and then it's got these two pockets either side and it's kind of a sheer material. It's kind of got three quarter length sleeves and got a little button and it's, yeah, looks like that basically. It's really hard to show you. Um, but I thought it was kind of really nice and sophisticated. I thought I could wear it with like jeans, I could wear it with shorts, and it will kind of dress up the outfit. And I think that this was full price, something like £38, and then it was reduced to like £16, and then with student discount it was something like £14. So I thought £14 for a really nice Topshop blouse um, was a little bit of a bargain, and I just thought that it's really nice and I thought that when I eventually do get a job it would be quite nice work wear. So yeah, so I got that. So I thought that was really nice and a really good buy. Um, next I got these shorts from River Island and I'm not going to show you the front of them because they have got a little stain on them um, and I do need to put them in the wash. But I wanted to show you them because literally ever since I've bought them I haven't taken them off. Um, so yeah, so I got these shorts from River Island and I kind of wanted some more denim shorts and I do have loads of denim shorts, but if you're a short fan like me, lots of denim shorts are different to each other. And I wanted a more kind of dark vintage coloured pair. So I saw these in River Island and I think they were £25, which I think is quite good for a pair of good quality denim shorts. And they're high waisted and they are like rolled up at the bottom like that. I'll show you the back. And they're really nice. I really like them. They're kind of, they're kind of like vintagey. They kind of really nice at the same time. And I find that a lot of denim shorts these days they have that kind of thing of showing your bum. Like whenever I go around town, there's loads of girls walking around in shorts with their bums hanging out. And like, yeah, it's fine for them. But if I got my bum out, literally small children would run. So these are a bit more kind of modesty hiding but they can they are partial to show a little bit of cheek so you have to make sure they're not really high waist or you will be showing your bum so next is these black jeans that i got from asos a bit of a boring purchase but i thought i would show you because um i've mentioned before that i'm petite i'm five foot two so this means finding jeans is an absolute nightmare because i'm really really picky with my jeans i like them to be really really tight and skinny but they also have to fit the fact that I'm five foot two. So regular jeans are a no-no, they are always too long for me, so I always kind of struggle finding petite jeans that I like. And up until now, I only thought that Topshop Lee jeans were kind of like the ones for me, and of course they're like 38 pounds, so they are like, it's so expensive for a pair of jeans. So I kind of thought I'm gonna look elsewhere, and in my last haul, I showed you my neon pink jeans that I got from ASOS, and they were petite, so I thought, well obviously the petite jeans um, like fit me. So I got these jeans from ASOS, the black jeans, and I have to say I absolutely love them. They're kind of, they're not quite denim, they're kind of like the Lee jeans, they're kind of quite light, so they're almost like a jegging. They're really tight, they are a perfect length. I think they're actually half an inch shorter than the petite ones from Topshop, so they are like the perfect length for me. And they're really nice, and also they're a lot cheaper. I think I got these for about, um, I think full price they're about £25 and then they do student discount and then they also always do like little offers on like 20% off here or 20% off something like that. So yeah, so I got these for about £23 which I think is really good for a good quality pair of black jeans. Okay, moving on to probably my favourite buy of the last week. I bought this the other day so hopefully this will still be in your local Primark. 
Um, because I know how annoying it is when like you watch haul videos and they're like, oh yeah, I got this from Primark, but I bought it ages ago, so it probably won't be there anymore. But yeah, I bought this like two days ago, so hopefully this will still be in. I'm just doing the buttons up, sorry, because I always think clothes look better with the buttons done up. So I'll tell you what, I'll stuff it. Um, so yeah, I bought this. Okay, let me tell you the story. Um you probably all know I love Caroline Flack and I love her style and she, at the moment she's filming Extra Factor and whenever she always tweets her outfits which I love and she tweeted this outfit that she was wearing and she was wearing a pink blazer and pink shorts and I thought to myself oh my god I need those shorts in my life. I do think that about every single outfit that she wears but the pink shorts I was like I really need those shorts in my life. And I got my first result back from uni, I got a 2-1 in an essay, woohoo! Um, so I thought I could go treat myself to those shorts. I went to my top shop, they weren't in there, really like depressing. So I went to Primark and I found this place suit and I thought, oh, I think that's a better buy than the shorts. And I think this is so Caroline Flack. Like, if you don't like her because of the whole Harry Styles thing, but you like her style, um, I definitely would recommend picking this up. And it looks so much more expensive than what it was. It is this play suit and this is the top of it. So it's got like the little collar which I absolutely love, and it's short sleeves, so it's great for summer. And it's got like collar tips, which is like all the rage. If you're going to places like Zara, it's full of shirts like this. So you've got the little collar tips, which is really expensive. And then you've got like these gold kind of buttons. So I have done some of them up. And then you have these pink shorts at the bottom. I saw this and I basically ran to the till because I was like, it basically looks like the shorts that Caroline was wearing with this really cute little blouse on top and it was only £15. I was just like, oh my god, you couldn't get a better option if you tried. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this. It looks so nice on, it's got pockets, it just looks really lovely. It looks like a blouse and a pair of shorts, it doesn't look like a play suit, it doesn't look like it's from Primark, it is amazing and I can just tell that I'm going to just love wearing this. So yeah, so I thought this was a really amazing kind of Caroline Flack inspired clove in item and I kind of thought, you know what, I don't need those pink shorts because I have this play suit instead. So yeah, I absolutely love this. Little word of warning, I had to go down a size which is really weird because um, the normal, my normal size I picked up, the shirt was like really baggy on the tummy, remember like I had a pot belly? So I went down a size and it's much better, it's a little bit tight on the neck, but who needs to breathe? Okay, moving on to another kind of cool buy, and I think this is going to be my 21st birthday dress, um, which is exciting. I picked this up from H&M, H&M have got some really nice stuff in there at the moment, and I've been kind of wanting this dress from Topshop, which is like a neon lace dress but it was like 46 pounds and I thought oh no and I saw this and it's basically the exact same dress but this was 14.99 bargain so yeah this is it it's basically kind of a neon coral dress it goes out into like a skater style and it's really really pretty um I really like it I love these colors I think they work really well with my hair and my skin tone they make you look really really tan which is obviously a winner in my eyes Yes, yeah, so I really love this, and I think it is just going to look gorgeous with a tan. I can see that I can I can wear this out in Miami, um, like going for dinner and stuff. So yes, yeah, so I really really like that, and it is basically like the Topshop dress that I was after, but a lot lot cheaper. Okay, next coming up, you've all seen this blouse because I've worn it in a couple of videos, but I kind of wanted to include it. It is this studded blouse from Zara. I kind of fell in love with it, and. Um, I just kind of had to have it. I bought it with my eBay money because I couldn't justify spending how much it was like from my own money. So I bought it with like eBay money and it is gorgeous. It is a really nice qu like quality material. I love the studs. I think it's kind of girly and not girly at the same time. I always feel really sophisticated when I wear it. So yeah, I absolutely love this blouse. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. I think you have to have to hand wash it, which is obviously... A pain in the bum but it is absolutely gorgeous okay moving on to a couple of sale items that I picked up from River Island I'd been eyeing these up full price so when I saw they were in the sale I was like brilliant um it's really just a couple of kind of like silky t-shirts basically they're a bit creased sorry um some silky t-shirts which look really great with like shorts and jeans and stuff like that so I picked this one up and my boyfriend said that I look like a stick of rock when I wear it I was like oh thanks Henry 
Um, so yes, yeah, so I picked this up. I think this was reduced from twelve, um, reduced from twenty five pounds to twelve pounds. So I thought that was really good because I really like it. It's a little bit different and it looks really good with shorts and stuff. And it's kind of rare that you can pick up a top like that for like twelve pound in like Primark. And then this one I got from 20 to 10 and I absolutely love the colour of this. Again, sorry it's a bit creased. It is this kind of pale orange and black kind of t-shirt. It looks really nice for shorts. Uh, it looks really good for tan. It's got this little zip on the booby, um, which is cool. And yeah, it was £10 and it's like a little bit longer at the bottom. But I thought for £10 you cannot go wrong with that. Like I said, you struggle to pick up nice tops like that from Primark for £10. Okay, and finally, my last kind of purchase over the last few months. I bought these recently, and they are like my new shoe babies in my life. I've been after some kind of wedges to wear in the daytime because I am quite short, sure, and I wanted something that I could wear to give me a little bit of extra height, make my legs a little bit longer, but not that I'll be falling over the place because I'm not very good with heels. And I saw these and fell in love with them. This is them. They are from Forever 21, and... I think they are gorgeous. So they're like this suede kind of taupe colour. They have kind of cut out. They've got some laces at the front. And they've kind of got a wedge. I think they're about three inches. But they're kind of like quite comfortable to walk in. They're not too high. And yeah, I really like them. They've got a zip on the back. And I think they were 24 75 which I think is a right bargain. So yeah, I absolutely love these. They're kind of everything that I wanted. They're kind of quite edgy. But they're really nice and you can wear them. Oh my god, I've still got the stickers on. And I've been wearing these. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love them. They're 24 75 and yeah, I love them. So yeah, that's basically it. That is my kind of clothes haul over the past three months. So I hope you've liked what I've bought. Like I said, I will link wherever I can to the shops that I've bought them from. So if you like anything, you can go out and buy the same thing. Um, so yeah, so remember, if you've got any requests for videos, then please let me know. I'm always kind of looking at doing different videos, so yeah, let me know. Um, apart from that, thank you for all watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!